Hi, welcome to a cabin in the mountains. I'm Tiara, this is Bilbo, and today we are going to talk about no need bread. So, um, no need bread, as the name implies, is a nice rustic uh, loaf of bread that you can make without having to go through the process of kneading bread, which is usually what you do to, uh, you know, bring out the gluten and make it nice and fluffy and bread. Um, and it's so easy to make no need bread that I wanted to do it here while we're on vacation, uh, kind of quarantining in the mountains and, you know, practicing social distancing with dogs, but having a little vacation too. So let's just quickly go over the ingredients that I've brought with me and uh, we'll get into the first steps. Three. All right, so this is three and a quarter cups of bread flour. You can also use regular flour for the no need uh, dough. Uh, that's about 430 grams. Uh, this is two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of dry active yeast, and this is just a little bit of extra flour that we're actually not going to use right now. This is one and a half cups of warm water. So, and then we just have a bowl and a wooden spoon and a Dutch oven, which we're not even going to use right now. We're going to use that tomorrow because this bread is going to be made overnight. All right, so let's throw this together and make some bread. Three. No need bread is really easy to make. So here's the flour I brought from home with me and a nice big bowl. Just gonna dump the flour in. This is the extra flour I said I would not use right now. Uh, the salt. And the yeast. I'm gonna give that a quick stir with a wooden spoon. The spatula also works. And then I'm just gonna take the warm water. How warm, if you have a thermometer about 105 to 110 degrees, you don't want it any hotter than that because it's going to kill the yeast. And you don't want it to be cold water because cold water won't activate the yeast. So I'm just gonna dump this in here and then use the spoon to mix it really quickly. It's gonna form a very shaggy dough. So this is what the dough should look like. It's as you can see, it's very rough and it's just, you're just pull, putting it together and you can do it even with your hands if you don't want to use a spoon and just kind of mush all of the ingredients together until you get a very rough dough. And that's all you need. It's got everything in here that it needs to uh, grow overnight. Okay, now that that's mixed up, I'm just going to cover this with cling film and I'm going to leave it on the counter in the kitchen. It does not in the sun, just covered like with cling film or a cloth and you're gonna leave it overnight for 12 to 18 hours. You can leave it up to 24 hours and then uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like tomorrow and we'll cook it or we'll bake it. So we'll see you then. All right, so it's the next morning and we're just gonna check on our dough. As you can see, it's gotten much bigger and it's nice and bubbly. And uh, this is about after 12 hours. I, we have some stuff to do like walking the dogs and doing other stuff like that. So I'm gonna continue to let it rest for a little while longer and then we will bake it. All right, it's the next day. Uh, the dough has sat overnight and actually 
for most of the morning for about 18 hours. And uh, we're ready to go on to our next steps. Now, before I do that, I just wanna talk very quickly about the Dutch oven. So a Dutch oven or something similar is required to make this no need bread. Uh, you can get a small inexpensive Dutch oven from Target or from online. Uh, or if you don't have a Dutch oven, you don't wanna buy a Dutch oven. If you have a um, cast iron skillet, you can uh, do the same thing and just cover the top with tin foil to bake the uh, no need bread. You just need something that will withstand heat up to 450 degrees. So what I'm gonna do before we turn the bread out is I'm gonna go preheat the oven to 450. I'm going to put in the uh, bottom of the Dutch oven and I'm going to let it heat up for about half an hour. And then once I put this in the oven, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do with the bread before we put it in the oven, all right? All right, so while our Dutch oven is heating in, in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get the bread ready. So as you can see, it's much bigger and full of air bubbles than it was last night. I'm gonna take a little bit of this extra flour and sprinkle it onto a clean surface. And then I'm just going to powder or get some flour on my hand and pull this dough out. And if you have a dough scraper, you can use that for this. I did not bring it with me because we are on vacation and you don't usually need a dough scraper while you're on vacation. So all you're gonna wanna do, you don't really wanna touch it too much. You just wanna make it uh, round by kind of folding the ends underneath or to the top, kind of pinch it. and shape it. All right, and that's it. And now I've got some parchment paper that I'm going to move this over to. And it's just gonna sit on this parchment paper. I'm gonna cover it up with a cloth so it doesn't get uh, dried out. But it's just gonna sit while the Dutch oven is uh, heating up. So it's gonna just sit here for another half hour and then we'll put it in the oven. All right, so um, the Dutch oven has preheated for half an hour. So I'm gonna take that out now and just be careful because it's gonna be very hot. Make sure you use your oven gloves. And then all you need to do is take the bread dough on top of your uh, parchment paper and just drop it in there. We're gonna dust the top with a little bit of flour and burn myself a little bit, apparently. Lid goes on. It's gonna go back in the oven. Now I've put a roasting pan in here underneath and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some water in here. And that kind of makes the uh, oven humid and gives you that nice crust. So I'm going to close this up. It's going to be 30 minutes in the oven with the lid on. And then you're going to take the lid off and you'll cook it for 10 to 20 more minutes, depending on how brown you like the bread. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll check back uh, when it's done. All right, I've just removed the bread from the oven and it looks great. So once again, we baked it with the cover on for 30 minutes and then we removed the lid. And at that time, I also refilled the water in the pan at the bottom of the oven. And then I cooked it for an additional 20 minutes. Now I'm just gonna take it out of the Dutch oven and put it on the counter and let it cool off and then hopefully enjoy some bread really soon. All right, so here we have our nice rustic loaf of no need bread. And I'm really looking forward to cutting into this. 
Since we're on vacation, I don't actually have a bread knife, so I'm using what I've got, which is a steak knife, but we'll do what we can. nice and light and fluffy. It's still warm. I'm just gonna put some butter on it and give it a taste. Mmm. That's really good. So thank you for joining me for this edition of There and Bake Again, a uh, vacation version. Uh, I hope you enjoyed making no need bread with me. Uh, I'd love to see pictures of yours, so if you make it, send it to me and uh, I'll share it and uh, let me know how it goes. So we'll see you next time. Bye.